first ever mail time here at the new property as mosquitoes fly around my face. Comment down below if you have a solution for that, guys. Kevin here, so I've been getting some mail to my P.O. box and I thought that instead of individually thanking everyone, which I do, I also share some of the cool stuff that's being sent out. So let's start it off. And if you would so like to send something out to the P.O. box, then the link's in the video description. So first of all, this awesome letter here, Elijah Wu, shout out to you, Elijah. Been commenting on my videos for quite some time and I know that you're getting a lot out of the gardening experience, which is what I love to hear. It says, hey Kevin, thanks for the amazing content you put out on so many platforms. I found your channel in 2018 or 2017 and since then I've loved the epicness of it. Love that. Uh, the plant in this box is a Cape Sundew. Look at this. So he sent this amazing plant out and this is a plant that I've been wanting to experiment with for a while because when you have those gnats or those other flying pests on your indoor plants, planting sundews or caring for sundews on the inside of your home along with your house plants can be a great natural pest control. Oh, there's a hummingbird right there. Oh, he's going over to the hummingbird feeder. Oh, I got, watch the vlog this week, guys, because I swear I have the best hummingbird hack for you. Anyways, he says, it originates in South Africa and is probably the easiest carnivorous plant to grow. It often becomes a weed that I have to deal with sometimes. Almost all carnivorous plants cannot handle water that has more than 150 plus parts per million. So you need relatively soft water here and cannot handle fertilizers, but love eating flies, gnats, and more. And I love that because I can already tell at this new property, I'm gonna have a problem with that. So he has all these tips here that are absolutely amazing. And he also has some extra care for Venus fly traps, pitcher plants, and Drosera, which are the sundews right here. I've got this beautiful, beautiful carnivorous. And I haven't really experimented with carnivorous plants a lot. So thank you so much, Elijah. Super grateful for that and very excited. Now, some of the smaller items that have come in are of course seeds. I'm gonna almost have to plant a subscriber garden. I think that would be a really, really cool thing to do with some of the stuff that's coming in. So. This is from Helena. Kevin, keep up the inspirational work. Thank you, Helena, appreciate that. So it looks like we got a little selection of seeds here and I'm curious what she sent out. So I've got spinach from Greece, beets from Greece, pole beans, dill, and endive, or endive, however you say that. So I don't know the specific variety, but I think these were sent literally from Greece. So thank you so much, Helena, that's amazing. Cannot wait to plant these. Sometimes I almost prefer not to know the variety so I can get surprised. Okay, some amazing seeds from Helena. Now I've got a letter right here. This is from Spicy Mustache. Dear Kevin, I hope you're well. I didn't really know if you're more into super hot or, oh, I know what's coming up, or low heat, mild, so I made a mix of seeds that goes from decorative to crazy hot. Also, please be careful when tasting the powder, which I assume is this, because we had lots of brave people that ended up crying, ha ha ha. Hope you enjoy growing these chili varieties. Best, Spicy Mustache, Alessandro. First of all, I may become a chili head at this new property because I have the space to dedicate to it. So it looks like he's prepared some boot jolokia powder here, ground up boot jolokia, which is a million plus on the Scoville scale. I'm not even gonna open this because I don't want to have to end this vlog early by dying, which is probably what would happen if I did this. But I do wanna show you some of these seeds and I'll also put up the finished version when you actually harvest and an overlay here of what these all look like. So there's some really cool ones in here. Let me collect them all. Wow, Alessandro, you sent out a ton of amazing seeds. Okay, so first of all, I've got Black Pearl. We have, this is a 10,000 to 30,000 on the Scoville scale. Magma, super hot, as the name implies. Red Black, super hot. Hot Patio Sizzler, super hot, decorative. Black Goat, 20 to 40,000 on the scale. Boot Cross with Nady which is a super hot. Purple UFO, I'm excited about that one. That's 30 to 50 on the Scoville. And then here's a card, spicymustache.com. So shout out to you, my friend. Thank you so much for sending these. You may have converted me into a chili pepper lover. And if I ever open this, you may have also contributed to my death. So <laughs> I don't know whether to thank you or to curse you. Okay, we've got a little note here from Janelle. She says, blue and purple tomato seeds. I threw in some yellow and red currant tomato seeds. Those are super fun to eat. Congrats on the new place. And so currant tomatoes, C-U-R-R-A-N-T, are a very, very small style tomato, which I'm excited to grow. They're kind of like little tomato poppers, if you will. So she sent out 25 smallest currant tomatoes. So I'm excited to grow those. I'll probably start those and see if I can get a late summer crop out of that. Then we've got 25 world's smallest YW tomato, blue tomato, and seven china purple tomatoes. I better plant these because I'm a sucker for anything with a unique amount of color. So 
Uh, Janelle, thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. Now, let me show you a couple of the larger items that came in the mail time. So this package came from my new friend, Charles Malky, over at ivyorganics.com. Also has a great YouTube channel. And I had messaged him asking about some techniques for caring for fruit trees, specifically reviving some of the fruit trees that I have on the property that are just not looking that good. They were neglected for years. And he just said, hey, what's your address? And I said, okay, okay I'll send it out. And he sent me this amazing care package. Now let me talk a little bit about these because you know, fruit trees, although I have grown some more often in containers, in the ground, especially managing an orchard, I haven't done a lot of. So I'm learning a lot from Charles. And there's something very important that I'm learning from him. And that would be the value of what you call whitewashing your trees. And so he sent out two of these. It's called his three-in-one plant guard. And the primary purpose, as I understand it, is to put a protective barrier on even your leaves, but more specifically exposed trunks, especially on young trees because they can get sunburned. So he sent out a white color and a more natural looking brown color, but you just shake this up, add water and apply. Do you add water? Well, follow the instructions on the back is a good recommendation, but what you'll do is you'll paint the trunks of your trees to protect them from sunburn so that they can actually make it to a more mature phase instead of spending all that energy rehabilitating sun damage. And so he sent two of those cans out. He also sent a ready to use version of this. So this can just be sprayed directly onto the plant without having to mix. And then he also sent out some of his NPK organic fertilizer, but he also included calcium, magnesium, and sulfur, which he calls the other three macronutrients that are absolutely essential for a plant's life. You know, we think about NPK all the time and I actually just had him on the Epic Gardening Podcast and he was saying it's really more than that. It's really calcium, magnesium, and sulfur that should be considered in as high regard as we consider nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So shout out to you, Charles, Ivy Organics. He's got a great, great YouTube channel for fruit. So check that out. Okay, that's Big Bertha. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh. This is from my friend Andy over at SD Microbes, San Diego Microbes. So he says, congrats on the new home, my friend. Here's a 25 pound bag and a gallon of Bukashi on its way. So the Bukashi is coming, but these are Bokashi brand. This is the Bokashi brand that I used in my video on the Epic Gardening channel about Bokashi composting. So it's an inoculated brand with lactobacillus, which is just a fantastic way to break down food scraps at a rapid pace. So. Thank you so much, Andy. It's got more than enough for this property right now, but uh, I'm excited to get some Bokashi going here and really try to improve this soil. Now I have one final mail time for you, but we need to go into the backyard. So the final gift, the final mail time. Look at this beautiful wreath from my friend Erica over at Instar Farms. I just got to the property one day and there it was. So I decided to hang it here on the back door Look at this thing. What a beautiful wreath. And it's all living or once living stuff. So you have some chilies here. We've got lavender. We have sage, all sorts of different things. And I think even as it dries, it's going to look really beautiful. So, you know, I really haven't been much of an ornamental or aesthetic gardener, but certainly with this much space, I want to have a cut flower garden. There's so many different things I want to do. I might even get into my own wreath making. So thank you so much, Erica, for this. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. So a huge thank you to everyone who has sent me something to my PO box. So cool to get these gifts from all around the world and experiment. And I think what I really will do, especially with those seeds that we got, is dedicate a section of this new property to call it the subscriber garden or the epic gardening garden, the community garden. Oh, that's a great name for it. The community garden. So I will have a plot that I will only grow seeds that are sent to me. And I can even have like little plant labels with everyone's names on them. I think that'd be super cool. So anyways, hope you'll indulge me on this mail time. I hope it was fun. Let me know in the comments if this is something you even want to see on this channel. If it's not, I won't do it again. No big deal. But if it is, I'd be happy to do it again because it's really fun to unbox stuff. I love doing that. Anyways, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.